We came right over to here and um, there was um, salmon spawning. They just flipped their fins all over the place and made this horseshoe shaped place to lay their eggs. And it was, it was really fun to watch it. Jan Phillips was pleased because she and her late husband Clyde had worked day and night to switch to sprinkler irrigation and remove a century old barrier to spawning salmon on Iron Creek. The project had almost instant results. We were excited that maybe we could help in that to be able to bring the fish back. Jan is one of over 75 ranchers in the Upper Salmon River Basin who have participated in efforts to restore fish habitat. The bridge here replaced a, an old culvert that uh, prevented fish from easily making their way into the cool, clear water of Iron Creek. The results of this project um, were incredible. Within one year after the project was completed, uh, Chinook began to uh, realize that the passage was open and they began to spawn in Iron Creek. The project was challenging for Jan and Clyde Phillips because they had to install a new irrigation pipe uphill from the Salmon River to a pivot sprinkler that would irrigate a large hay field. It was daylight till dark for months and in the trenches and, and it, was, it was really hard, but it was very much worth it. The $750,000 project, funded by federal, state, and local agencies, was the largest undertaking in the basin. The Phillips received the 2009 Governor's Award for Excellence in Agriculture for Environmental Stewardship. The project has multiple benefits. By converting to sprinkler irrigation, the Phillips have more water in late summer. We've been able to focus on other parts of the ranch because the irrigating is so much easier than it used to be. And we're getting a higher yield than our hay. That's the big big plus. Since the Upper Salmon River Basin Watershed Project started in the early 1990s, over 120 projects have been completed, including riparian fencing, riparian restoration, screening irrigation diversions, and removing obstacles to fish spawning. The projects are being implemented throughout the Upper Salmon River Basin. We've made a lot of progress. I mean, you know, we've reconnected a lot of streams. And, uh, made fish habitat a lot better than it was. Improvements in the Upper Salmon Basin are part of endangered salmon and steelhead recovery efforts in the Columbia River Basin. Plans focus on increasing fish survival through improving habitat, tweaking hydro systems operations, hatchery production, and controlling harvest. Rancher, you don't, all we can do is provide the habitat that's here and make things as good as we can. Merrill Beeler of Ledor is a can-do rancher who has participated in a number of fish enhancement projects. I like to fish. I've got a grandson that just loves to fish and uh, uh, those are just important values that you, you can't really put a price tag on. Beeler recently completed a deal with the Nature Conservancy that protects 2,400 acres of salmon and wildlife habitat, removes fish passage barriers on three tributary streams, and expands the Beeler's Ranch. The deal has the additional benefit of allowing Beeler's three sons, Bryant, Curtis, and Doug, to work full-time on the family ranch. One of the things in rural communities is trying to maintain them and trying to bring children back in to the valley to maintain the, the vitality of them. That has been a challenge. This is a way that we can maintain this rural setting and keep the families here and make the valley, you know, make it more viable for people to live here year-round and make this a community. The Beelers shifted from flood irrigation to sprinkler irrigation on three creeks on their home ranch to restore fish passage while increasing water efficiency and increasing yields on their hay crops. As I look at all the different projects that have gone in, uh, not one has been the silver bullet but it, I think it's kind of a cumulative effect and you have all these other values that uh, you pick up along the way. After nearly 20 years of work, the number of Chinook spawning on the Lemhi River has increased, but rainbow trout spawning has gone up significantly. Plus, there is more water in the Lemhi River for fish. Ranchers on the lower river, like Bruce Mulkey, 
don't necessarily like to see more sprinkler pivot projects because that could affect surface water irrigators downriver. I don't like it really because I think they need to study the issue more and see what it's going to do to the groundwater table, how it's going to affect the recharge. Even so, Mulkey isn't worried about getting dried up on his ranch. If it affects me, the whole river's going to dry up because I have one of the earliest water rights on the river. Looking to the future, Don Olson looks forward to more progress. I think it'll keep it progressing. The projects from now on is going to be more complicated and take a lot more money and a lot more time.